it's time for a Jackie bomb right here on Jackie Robinson Day. And there it is, baby. We finally got our first fastball of the day. All right, guys, welcome back and happy Jackie Robinson Day. It's April 15th and I'm back with the Brooklyn Dodgers squad. I got my Brooklyn Dodgers Jackie Robinson shirt on as well to celebrate. And obviously Jackie Robinson is on the team right there. One of my first ever recruited guys and best batter overall. And so what we're gonna be doing in this video today is the play with only one batter challenge. Again, I've done this before when we made Jeter a diamond, but we're gonna be playing with only Jackie Robinson because it's Jackie Robinson day. Everyone else will be on watch mode and I'll be throwing with Babe Ruth on the mound because we are in the World 1 Championship and a Game 7 against the Fighters. I did purposely lose three games, so it's a winner-take-all game right here. If we lose, we lose a championship as well. So there's a lot on the line with this challenge today. So before we get into this one, there's no one I can work on or upgrade, but there was a brand new update that came out in Baseball 9 last week. And so we're going to cover what's new and then get this thing started. First things first, the biggest thing that came in the update, at least to me, was a brand new stadium. It's been a while since we've had a new one and it is called Pirates Park. And on this account, I've been using Challenge Field for well over a year, it costs 200,000 coins. It's the only stadium you can buy with coins and I've never actually bought a stadium that uses gems like Champions Park 2000 or any of the other ones that cost 3,300 gems. And so with this brand new stadium coming out in the update last week, I figured why not go ahead and buy it and build it in this one. And this is actually one of the smaller stadiums in the game, only 321 in left and right and 383 in center. The fences are a little bit higher at 18 feet, but everything else is like 400 in terms of the gem stadium. So. All right, and here we go, 3,300 gems, boom. We are now at Pirates Park and we'll be showing it off in this one. Next up, they also added some new uniforms into the game. And we got some like two-tone jerseys that we've never had before. We got this black one right here. We got this yellow one with stars. We got this darker tone blue and red right there. We got a green pattern jersey. This blue one right here with orange. This light blue and red with stripes. This two-tone purple and pink jersey right here. A purple and green jersey. And last but not least, we have what I'm calling the Christmas jersey because it's red and green. I'll probably end up buying this uniform and using it in a video around Christmas this year. And currently I have 104 uniform tickets and all of these new jerseys cost 90. So we're gonna go ahead and buy one of these new ones. I'm gonna go with this blue one right here because it's the closest thing to the Brooklyn Dodgers. It's Jackie Robinson day. Let's just go ahead and buy that right there. And then I just customized the color of the initial B on the hat and the helmet to be this blue right here to match the uniform. Also, they added nine new cleats to the game, and I've actually never equipped cleats on any of my players, and here they are right here, all the ones that say new. And so I'm gonna equip one of each of these new pairs on every one of my batters, along with my pitchers as well. And actually, I just realized that I can't count because there's 10 new pairs, not nine. Another new feature added is that you can now change the order of the pitches for your pitchers. So you can see I have a fastball curve, jarrow ball, slurve, splitter, Vulcan change for Babe Ruth, but now you can customize the order however you want to be. So let's just say I want the fastball as my number one pitch, the Vulcan change is my two, the curveball is my three, the slurve is my four, the splitter is my five, and then the gyro ball is my six. And so as you can see, I hit okay, and now it rechanges the order to exactly what I just chose. And that's how the order of the pitches will show in game at the bottom of the screen when you're playing. And finally, the last thing added in this update is that mercy rule now applies in the postseason. It used to only apply in the regular season if you turn it on and not the all-star game in postseason, but it now works in the postseason. And now it's finally time to get in the gameplay today. And I also got to show you guys that I did change all the jersey numbers of my players to 42 for Jackie Robinson, just like they do in real life. And so here we go. Game seven against the fighters. They got Bates on the mound versus Babe Ruth. Let's get this dub and complete this challenge with Jackie Robinson today. Here is the new ballpark, Pirates Park. It's looking pretty sweet, man. It's nice to have a new stadium in the game and for it to be my home stadium. And we got Babe Ruth on the mound. I'm looking for a perfect game in World 1 again. Walking changed. On the ground, Jeter makes the play. One, two count, we're going back to that Vulcan change. It's nasty and it's on the ground and Dunn makes the play. Easy money. I'm gonna try that curveball away. Right to Dunn, one, two, three inning. Ken Griffey Jr. lead it off today. Watch mode for everybody except Jackie Robinson. Can we get the dub? And I did not realize how high those fences are. Those things are a lot higher than I thought they would and Ken Griffey starts off with the ground out. Can Babe get on base and start things? And he hits a home run. Look at Babe. Already a home run from watch mode in the first inning. Babe doing it on the mound. Imagine he throws a perfect game yeah, and hits like four home runs. And now we got Jackie Robinson up on Jackie Robinson day. Let's see what he can do on his day. Get the fork ball. It's up the middle and it gets through. You know what? I'll take the single from Jackie. Can Barry Bonds bring him in? Sadly, they're not gonna steal him with 131. I would have, and that's a double play. If I was playing with Barry, I would have stole him and that would have avoided the double play. On the ground again, off the mound. Thankfully it was off the mound and went to Jeter. 
If that didn't go off the mound, that would have been a single up the middle. Bottom of the second. Big Poppy leading it off. Can he get this inning started? And a nice curveball hung, and that's going to be a double from Big Poppy. Yes, sir. If Jeter can get a hit, he's going to drive in the run. Doesn't get a hit, but moves Big Poppy over to third. Can Adam Dunn do the job here? Just put the ball in play and score the run. And it scores the run. They don't go home. Dunn does the job. And that gets down the first hit. Jeter, I feel like he could have laid out for that. Man. So there will be no perfect game today or no hitter. Bottom of the third, two outs. Jackie Robinson back up. We get the cutter, and that's going to be another single. And you, what just happened? How did three guys miss that ball right there? Babe Ruth just runs past it. Chipper Jones lays out for it from third, and then it goes right past Jeter at short. And Bro just got an infield single. What did I just watch right there? This is world one. All these guys have like 100 fielding plus. Easiest ground ball should have been an easy out. Let's try this. Never really done that. Oh my gosh. Ball can change high in the zone? Looks like it's going over the backstop and then strikes him out. That might be the new meta, guys. Let's try this again. Dude, they can't hit that. We might have just found the new meta. High inside Vulcan change. Forget high inside cheese. Bottom of the fifth, one out. Ken Griffey Jr. back up. He's 0 for 2 today. We haven't done anything the last two innings. Can he finally get something started here? And a walk. At least he got on base. Can Babe finally do something here? And that's a double. A home run and a double for Babe Ruth. Having himself a day, both on the mound and batting. And Ken Griffey Jr. is pushing it, baby. And he is smoked, of course. Ken Griffey Jr. should have just stayed at third, but now we got Jackie Robinson back up. He's two for two with two singles. Two outs, man in scoring position. Can he clutch up? Full count, who's gonna win this battle? And we get walked. Two outs, come on, Barry. Man, missed opportunities today. Watch mode is just playing like trash. That should have been strike three. We're going right back to it away. Got him, man. We're doing it again. Got him, I'm telling you guys. Nasty is pitching the game. And, gosh darn it, man. Give up another hit. Back to it. Strike three. They can't hit it, man. When in doubt, high inside ball can change. Doing it again. We're going for six for six today. And got him, man. Can we go seven for seven? Got him, man. All right, Ken leading off the bottom of the seventh. And we finally start off with a double. Thank you. So many missed opportunities today. And Babe Ruth continues to have himself a day on watch mode. Home run, double, single. Now he just needs a triple for the cycle on watch mode. And that brings up Jackie Robinson. Two for two today, two singles and a walk. Man in score position, no outs. Finally going to the bullpen. It's time for a Jackie bomb right here on Jackie Robinson day. And there it is, baby. We finally get our first fastball today. They've been scared all day, and there's a Jackie Robinson bomb on Jackie yeah, Robinson yeah. Day. Still no outs. Barry Bonds, can he keep this inning going? We're finally breaking things open. And that's over the head. A double there from Barry. This is the inning we've been looking for all day. And he takes a walk. Let's go. Which actually might not be a good thing, because now I got him in on first, and we could hit into the double play. I probably just spoke it into existence. And yeah, I did. <laughs> I would have rather him just struck out at that point. You already know. You already know. Oh, they finally hit the Vulcan change on high inside, but it was a flout to Jeter. Gonna try it again. And got him. We're back to it. Back goes flying. Can we finish it? And got him. Nine out of ten today, man. Bottom of the eighth. Two outs. Ken Griffey Jr. Back up top of the lineup. Last chance to probably bat today. Exclamation point pitch. And Ken goes deep on watch mode. Keeps it alive. Jeez. Babe Ruth up now. Can he get on base and give Jackie Robinson one more at bat? And he does. He gets a single. Two outs, and that'll bring up Jackie again. Three for three, two singles and a home run with a walk. Sadly, we won't be able to get the cycle today, most likely. Not going to be a bomb, but it is going to be a double. We're going to be a triple shy of the cycle. If we didn't get walked that one time, and they're going to send him three. Now we just need a double. Just a double short of the cycle for Robinson. If he didn't get walked and we got a double there, we would have had the cycle. Top of the ninth. It's time to close this thing out with Babe Ruth. Complete game shutout. Another two strike count. Can we make it 10 times a day? That ball can change, man. Oh, they can't hit it. You already know. O2 count and we get an exclamation point pitch on the ball can change, but they pop it up still. Even when we're throwing exclamation point pitches with the ball can change, they still can't hit it. On the ground, 
Chipper makes the play, and boom, that's it. Get the dub. 7-0, win the World 1 Championship on Jackie Robinson Day. And I think Jackie Robinson got the MVP. And no, Babe Ruth stole it from him. Man, they just cheesed Jackie. But obviously, we won World 1 again for like the 20th time. And that's going to pretty much do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe with it said. I'll see you guys next time.